subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell icon. Thank you. Hello, my wonderful people, and welcome back to my channel. There is an outrage as Nigerians renew call for sacking of service chiefs over Bonu killings. The horrific killing of at least 43 rice farmers at Zambamari in Jere local government area of Bonu State has sparked fresh call for the sacking of the country's service chief by the president, Major General Muhammad Buhari. The Boko boys had on Saturday reportedly killed the rice farmers in the village near Medugui, the state capital. The terrorists were reported to have first tied up the farmers who were working in rice fields before slitting their throats. Buari had in a statement last night through his senior special assistant on media and publicity, Gabashehu, condemned the killing by the terrorists as insane and senseless. The retired general also said he has given all the needed support to the armed forces to take necessary steps to protect the country's population and its territory. But tired of rhetorics, grieving Nigerians have taken to the social media to slam the president and his service chiefs over their collective and repeated failure to secure lives and properties in the country. The concerned persons also insisted that the president sack the service chiefs and rigid the country's security apparatus. Sarihu Yakasi, special advisor on media to the Kano state governor, Ablahi Ganduje, said it was shameful that nobody has been sacked a day after the tragedy. Then again, the Kano governor's aide who tweeted, he said, if this doesn't move you to tears, I don't know what will. 43 souls woke up and went to end a living only to be slaughtered like rams. 24 hours later, nobody has been sacked. No major action taken. And in another 24 hours, the outcry will end and we'll all move on. Then a comedian and a campaigner of Ensa's protester, Debo Adebayo, also known as Mr. Macroni, tweeted, we are either being killed by terrorists or by security operatives. Either ways, the country isn't safe. Where is the government when you need them? Oh, I forgot. They are busy oppressing the Nigerian youth. On his part, social commentator Gimba Kankande knocked the president for not addressing the nation on the tragedy. The first thing Buari ought to have done today was appearing on TV, bearing the pain of the people he had failed to announce the sack of his overstaying service chiefs. Kankanda stated, Adding that when our military head of state didn't take the country for granted as Buari has. Then another user commented, anything outside sacking the service chiefs is not a positive action to me. Buari should sack these men and not have meetings with them. The meetings have never and will never be productive. One other person said, Kicked against another person kicked against the deresidalization of former terrorists by the federal government and said it is clear that the service chiefs lack the know how to tackle insurgents in the north. We need big bold ideas, no amnesty for terrorists. The person wrote the Senate had in the last in the past asked the service chiefs to step down following the worsening killings of civilians and soldiers in parts of the northern Nigeria. But the presidency had disagreed, saying it is a prerogative of the president to appoint and sack the service chiefs. Some of the current service chiefs include the chief of defense staff, General Gabriel Oloni Sakin, chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Toko Brutai, chief of naval staff, Vice Admiral Ibo Ekwe Ibans, chief of air staff, Air Marshal Sidek Abubakar, and Inspector General of Police, Mohammed Adamu. Zulum, while addressing the bereaved community after the burial, said, First of all, accept my deepest, deepest sympathy over this carnage, once again, that affects all of us and every human being with conscience. 
I'm told that some persons are still missing. We have been discussing with the military since yesterday. Inshallah, the remaining people will be traced soon. The governor, while speaking to the journalist, said, It is disheartening that more than 40 citizens were slaughtered while they were working in their farmlands. Our people are in very difficult situations. They are in two different extreme conditions. They are in two different extreme sides. In one side, they stay at home and they may be killed by hunger and starvation. And on the other, they go out to their farmlands and risk getting killed by insurgents. This is very sad. We are still appealing to the federal government to ensure recruitment of more of our youth into the CJTF and hunters into the Nigerian military and the civil defense so that they can form part of the agro rangers that will protect farmers. We need more boots to protect farmlands and our youth understand the terrain. We will not lose hope because we have to remain optimistic about engage, ending the insurgency, Governor Zulum said. All right, my wonderful people, this is all the news we have for you, said, saying that there is so much outrage as Nigerians call for the renew, call for the sacking of the service chief over the Bonu killing. If you have been following what has been happening in the country, you find out that yesterday the Boko Haram guys have done their worst again. We heard that some farmers, even though we don't know the actual number, though the media says 43, they went out to sort for their daily food. On their, on, on, in their way, when they were making out their daily earning, harvesting rice and so on, they were killed by the Boko Haram boys. No, I call on federal government, I said not again. When we all this incessant killing end, I don't know, I will say that being in Nigeria is more of, like being a, a Nigerian is a crime. Why will someone, if you are in the country, is either you are being killed by the Boko Haram or you are being killed by hunger or you are being killed by police, SARS, military? This, all these are uncalled for. For the past few months in this country, we have only been suffering that the people that are asked to protect the individuals are the ones taking the life of the individual. When the NSAS protest started, the military were busy killing people, the police, the SARS. The individual don't even have the right to live again. I don't know which country that this thing happened. So I beckon on the federal government and I'm saying enough is enough. We all know that Bono State is, is a very, like, is a terrorist state. I don't know why they can't declare the state of emergency for this. They're taking it too lightly as if the life of the citizen doesn't matter. All right, my wonderful people, remember that you schools can as well become part of this discussion by dropping your opinion and what you think or saying this at the comment section. Do I subscribe to this channel. See you in my next video. Thank you.